Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead series. Today we have the Naturalist DLC. It is finally here. I've been playing for a few hours this morning and getting to grips with this role. And Rockstar weren't kidding, it is massive. There's definitely a lot to learn, a lot to wrap your head around, and a lot of different parts to this update. Now I'm going to have plenty more videos up over the coming days going over everything in more detail, what you need to buy, the best ways to rank up in the Naturalist role, but this video I'm basically going to give you a big overview of just the Naturalist update in general, what's new, how does it work, and all that good stuff. So let's dive right into this new update. Track, hunt, and study the wonders of the Animal Kingdom in Red Dead Online's latest frontier pursuit, the Naturalist. Explore diverse locals, encounter majestic new legendary animals, we were right legendary animals were coming to the game, and forge your own path as you choose whether to use these findings to learn new skills or bolster your resources and material gains. Accomplished conservationist Harriet Davenport is looking for adventurers with an affinity for light wildlife to help her track down specimens and further her extensive knowledge of the animals of the five states. Pursue these fascinating creatures in the wild and then cautiously sedate them to obtain samples for Harriet and be equitably rewarded. At odds with Harriet's mission to understand and preserve wildlife is the retired big game hunter Gus Macmillan, who will compensate you handsomely for your hunting skills. So basically, Gus is our trapper in Red Dead Online. If your tastes favour fine clothing made from animal hides over the conservation of the nat natural world, Gus provides a wide range of options from the halls you deliver. Be warned though, Harriet will take notice of your poaching activities if you try to play both sides of this quarrel. So this update introduces a very interesting dynamic here. We almost have some kind of an honour system between these two sides. So assisting Harriet Davenport in her naturalist efforts by obtaining samples without killing will earn unique rewards while tracking these creatures. Use the new sedative varmint cartridges with the varmint rifle to sedate and sample and savvy naturalists can use animal reviver to ensure vulnerable animals are not left prone and endangered. And then on the trapper side we've got delivering animal parts, skins and hides to retired hunter Gus McMillan will get you high quality garments and other unique items with special benefits. Take advantage of the notorious sportsman's crafting and tailoring skills to obtain legendary animal coats and other apparel along with animal trinkets that bestow certain advantages. The starting location for the Naturalist update and to start the Naturalist role is the Welcome Centre in the town of Strawberry and there you'll see an icon on the map and you can meet up with both Harry and Gus. You'll see a cutscene there and you'll get the new Animal Field Guide. Now this is a little bit different from the compendium we had in single player, there's a few more uh, parts to it such as the photography aspect, but the animal field guide is basically a compendium featuring a certain species that can be found across Red Dead Online. And there's a few different things you can do in here where you track, you sample, you photograph, you can skin and also study. As you can see from the animal field guide, the compendium is a bit bigger than we had in the single player, so this one actually includes tracked, killed, skinned, studied, sedated, sampled, and then photographed to get the full 100% progress. As you build out the animal field guide and you continue through the specialist role, you will open up a range of new items, skills, and gameplay to explore. Everything from a new naturalist focused breed of horses, bespoke clothing and accessories, to new tonics and tonic recipes. These include personal weight loss and gain tonics, animal revivers, special tonics that mitigate weather effects, and also ones that increase your ability to sneak up on potential animal suspects and basically mask your smell. You'll also learn new skills like mercy kills, the ability to pitch wilderness camps, and the opportunity to work with Miss Davenport to stop the proliferation of nefarious animal poachers by raiding their encampments and liberating caged animals. Next up, let's talk about legendary animals. So as your naturalist activities progress, you'll start to encounter legendary animals. These distinct creatures can be discovered in both free roam and through animal sighting assignments commissioned by Harriet. Using the legendary animal map as a guide, you'll learn the rough locations of their native habitats 
and then you'll follow information in the animal field guide to locate one, ultimately deciding whether to obtain samples for Harriet and earn those precious rewards, or you can poach them and have Gus turn your hides into Ostrendrius apparel for your wardrobe. Now it looks like we only have around 7 legendary animals in the game at the moment, so legendary cougars, foxes, boars, beavers, wolves, bison and elk, and it sounds like there's going to be more drip fed through each week to come. I guess kind of similar to how we had legendary bounties with the bounty hunter update where we got one new legendary bounty each week. There are some new items to purchase. There is an advanced camera that you can purchase from the Wheeler Rawson and Co catalogue. This allows for increased mobility with an improved suite of camera features that includes a set of filters. And there's also new weapons you can purchase including a customizable improved bow which looks great but it is very expensive to customize this one and the elephant rifle this is made for taking down especially large rifles. There's also two new weapons added with this update there is the improved bow and the elephant rifle made for taking down especially large animals. The Naturalist also introduces two new animal based free roam events. I personally haven't tried either of these yet but they include the legendary animal protection where you work together to defend a legendary animal from poachers as it mitigates across the frontier but don't get too close to it while doing so or you may be seen as a potential threat. And then the other free roam event that was added was wild animal tagging where you join with other players to sedate and tag animals from certain species in order to obtain samples and discover a bonus legendary animal while also dealing with potential poachers. Next up we have Outlaw Pass number 3. Surprisingly the cost stayed the same as the last one, it's a 40 gold bars upfront purchase. However the rewards are you know, very rewarding in here, you get a lot of XP boosts to your naturalist role as you're leveling up so it's well worth purchasing the Outlaw Pass just for the XP boost to be able to rank up as the naturalist faster. Not to mention the 40 gold bars you spend on Outlaw Pass 3 you'll actually get 40 gold bars back from the rewards from just completing this pass, so it's a bit of a no-brainer to purchase this as soon as you can. There are also some additional updates. You'll meet all sorts of new folk along your travels in free roam, including other hunters tracking prey, and some that might request for your assistance, or even those who have met an untimely demise as a result of their efforts. Also look out for crashed wagons along the pathways and roads, which may include abandoned valuables, or in some cases, an inebriated driver looking for assistance. There is a ton of new clothing with this update, so the Naturalist also includes new specialist role themed and general daily challenges, new awards, a collection of new clothing, hairstyles, hair accessories, emotes, the ability to store cooked meats in your item wheel, and much more. A weapons locker has also been added to the camp in story mode, allowing Arthur to remove chosen weapons from the weapon wheel, which is a very welcome change I did not expect anything to be added to story mode. Today's update also brings over 250 fixes, balancing improvements and general improvements to Red Dead Online, so there's an absolutely huge list of bug fixes here, which is great to see. They did also mention that this includes solutions to address the camp and animal spawn issues. Yes, finally! Preparing for this update the last few weeks with no animals was very, very difficult, so I really hope that these improvements have actually fixed these spawn issues that have played the game for so long. I've been playing on Xbox One, and I can tell you from my experience this morning, it, it's definitely improved a lot more on Xbox. For the next week, until the 3rd of August, all naturalists are going to earn double payouts on their Tier 3 Legendary Animal Samples and Whole Carcass Sales plus completing various naturalist aims over the course of the next four weeks will grant you additional benefits. And these include becoming a naturalist will get a reward for a free roll accessory outfit or emote. If you sedate and sample any animal and get the Gila Monster camp flag, completing a legendary animal sighting mission will reward for a unique colorway of the Farn Home double, double bandolier. Pitching a wilderness camp will get you a reward for a treasure map. Currently there is also 30% off any novice or promising item in the naturalist role. There is a reward for 2000 naturalist XP, a reward for free sedative varmint cartridges, a reward for free legendary animal furnomone, 
an offer for 30% off a revolver, and a free ability card. If any of you guys are playing on PlayStation 4, there are some new early access bonuses as well as some free gifts just for playing on PlayStation, and those include sedative varmint cartridges, animal revivers, blending tonics. You also get early access to the legendary Gabro Horn Ram, the three fossil collection set, legendary Chalk Horn Ram, Woodcoat Poncho, and blending tonics. The Twitch Prime bonuses have also been updated. I'm not going to list off everything off here because a lot of these are quite small benefits, but I'll have these on screen in case any of you guys have Twitch Prime. Link to your social club account, you'll be able to get all of these nice rewards. There's nothing too huge in here, but I guess the 6000 Naturalist XP is pretty nice. Rockstar finished this update by mentioning in the weeks ahead, look out for even more legendary animals to track along with new gameplay updates, additions to both Gus McMillan's store and the Wheeler, Rawson and Co catalog, new fossils for collectors to find and deliver to travelling saleswomen Madame Nazar and more. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think of this update so far, I know there's so many different parts of it. I'm going to have much more videos up in the next few days going over more tips and tricks and the best ways to level up in this update and anything you guys may have missed. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of those future videos. Have a great day guys, hope you enjoy the update, and I'll catch you in the next one.